Let's take a look at creating rigid groups in Fusion 360. You want to open the file that's named rigid groups and you'll notice that the visibility of everything else except the carbon frame is turned off. Once you expand the carbon frame you'll notice that it's made of several different components and we want to combine those so that they work as one rigid group. The first thing you want to do is activate the carbon frame and you want to go ahead into the assemble dropdown and create a new rigid group. You can pick the components by selecting them in the window, or you can go ahead and select them in the model browser on the left. Once you've selected the components you want to combine into a rigid group, you can simply go ahead and hit OK, and that will make them all function as if they were one rigid component. To edit the rigid group, you could go into the Joints folder and right-click to edit it and add or delete components that you might want to take in or out of the rigid group. And that is Rigid Groups in Fusion 360.